Hi and welcome to Week 12 Movie Reviews. This past week I saw two new films, the first being 1967's The Dirty Dozen. Here's the plot. During World War II, a rebellious U.S. Army major is assigned a dozen convicted murderers to train and lead them into a mass assassination of German officers, ready to prove with a runtime of 2 hours and 30 minutes. Now, I thought this was just a classic old war movie. You know, you got everybody shooting from the hip. Everybody has hip fire and they got impeccable accuracy for hip fire. They could just cut a rope, which is actually a scene in the movie uh, from... Uh, People not dropping dead once they get shot. They just get shot and they have that little, like, two minutes of just being able to go. <gasps> and, like, it's it's just cheesy and ridiculous. But it's a fun movie. Uh, they have all the classic characters of a war movie, especially for outcasts. You got the psychotic soldier who ends up putting everybody in danger. You got the big bulky guy who's just really tall but like he's not going to hurt anybody he doesn't want to hurt a fly and then you even have the the smart aleck that the audience is just in love with throughout the whole movie uh i thought this was a really good movie it was a fun watch uh you definitely have to be in the mood for that older war style movie uh, but i think there's a place for that i think there's a place for those types of movies. They are a lot different than the war movies we see now, which are more gore and stuff uh, and more psychological uh, as opposed to kind of these comedy war movies. Uh, after all is said and done, I thought this was a good movie. I could uh, watch it. I would, again, I would definitely say if you like those classic World uh, War II movies like Kelly's Heroes and stuff like that, you should go check it out. Uh, as of now, The Dirty Dozen is on Netflix, but I think it's there till December 31st, and it's leaving, so you gotta be pretty quick with it. The second movie I saw this past week was 2022's Avatar The Way of Water. Here's the plot. Jake Sully lives with his newfound family formed on the extrasolar moon Pandora. Once a familiar threat returns to finish what was previously started, Jake must work with Neytiri and the army of the Navi race to protect their home. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of 3 hours and 12 minutes. Starring Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana. I think that's how you say the last name. And it's directed by James Cameron, who's known for uh, the original Avatar and Titanic. I hate to say it, but this is a classic example of just because you make a long movie, it doesn't mean that it's going to be amazing or profound. Uh, I'm not the biggest Avatar fan. I'll get that out of the way. I think it's an average story. And the main part of its success is just because the CGI was so ahead of its time. And it still kind of keeps up today if you rewatch it. But other than that, the story was all right. It's been done before. Uh, which leads me into the sequel. I think now that everybody's seen that type of technology, you can't just rely on that to your, be your movie success. You got to actually go in with the story this time. And I felt like they had a bunch of plot holes in the story and they really failed at telling, I guess, I guess what they wanted to tell was, a dad's got to protect his family. But they didn't really do that in the best. It was just so choppy, I felt like, with certain things. Like, they'd talk about something, but they never really go into it and stuff. They just forget about it. And they'd be like, oh, we can't go, we can't hang around with that thing. It's dangerous. And then at the end, they're like, we're cool. But you never show how they got from one place to the other. Uh, I don't really want to spoil it. That's why I'm being so broad. But uh, I also felt like it had a bunch of fillers, which I don't know why you put fillers in a three-hour movie. It makes no sense. Just shorten the movie at that point. I don't recommend this movie. I thought it was mediocre at best. Uh, CGI was all right. I mean, but like we've already kind of seen CGI to that level. At this point, they needed to make the story better, I think. 
in the end. But that's coming from a guy who hates CGI, so I could be biased. Anyways, I would much prefer going see two all right movies instead of a three hour mediocre film. I don't think it's worth your time. But if you do want to see Avatar The Way of Water, it is out in theaters as of now.